All right, welcome back. So let's continue on our pursuit of Josette and Kyle. Hopefully we can manage to catch them. Oh, oh really? Mm, turn around, turn around, turn around. Turn around! Er, grumble, 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 let's start moving. There we go, finally. Strength up, so we'll attack that one, I guess. What? Really? Why did it miss? Why? Why, 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 why? That's fine. We'll make it work. We make it work. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, if you only didn't suck up all that health, you killed it with that hit. Oh, wrong. Piece of cake. Thing is, is Joshua and Estelle are pretty close to level 16, and I guess Shara's already even closer. Nice. I don't want to fight that. Th Ooh, that was close. Holy moly. Nope. This way. Nope. This way. think you're going any further. Take the hostages and go. So you're back for more, huh? When will you learn? What are you trying to do? Buy time for your leaders to escape? Heh. <laughs> They've done a lot for us over the years. Now it's time to return the favor. Okay. You say so. Ow. Okay. No, not craft. Art. Aerial. Uh, we'll put it here. Yeah, that should be good. Uh, you're gonna craft quick draw and hit them all now. Attack. Mm. Soul Blur. Alrighty. That should work. Should keep them all in the circle, I hope. Good. Excellent, now they're all in the circle of doom. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure, Zard, you can do that, I guess. Good. And then Estelle should be able to finish them all off, I hope. Enemies around. <laughs> oh, really? Why did he miss? What? Okay, uh, we'll just use craft here just to try to get rid of these things a little easier. Okay, good. Hey, 
Good, good. Good, good. Oh, are we done already? Alright, so let's keep going. Another one in the way. But we have a strategy for them now. Now we don't care about using our craft points anymore. We will use them. Hmm, maybe I spread them out a little too far. Uh, all right, whatever. That seemed to work out okay, I guess. Or not really. Um, okay, we'll defeat that one. Show. And Charizard's one experience point from leveling up, unfortunately, but it is what it is. There we go, Crab looks like we've got the company. Don't think you're going to walk out of here the same way you came in. All we need to do is buy some time for Don, Kyle, and Josette to escape. Trying to shield your masters to the bitter end, huh? Though it's ridiculous, though it's a ridiculous thing to do, your spirit is admirable. Then I wonder if beating them into the ground might be a way to honor their sacrifice. Let's take them down. Estelle, which is convenient, because she just took the damage. 
damage. What? Really? <laughs> Alright, it was for Olivia to get a bit of more craft points, that's why she missed. Nice. Yes, it was all on purpose. There we go! Finally! Excellent! Huh? Oh, what's this? How did the army find out about this place? That liar, things weren't supposed to go down like this! Hey, get your dirty mitts off of me! Hey, what's going on here? Mm, so those ringleaders are the... So those are the ringleaders of the Sky Bandits? I'm surprised there's such a young woman, too! How about you shut your yap and start taking some good pictures? What are the chances of getting another scoop like this? So, how about it, Niall? Is this enough to help you write a decent article? You bet it is! I'm really grateful that you took us along. Oh, and would you mind if we took a picture of you while we're at it? Hmm, what do you think, General Morgan? Do as you like. This plan was successful thanks to your genius. In all honesty, this is truly something to boast about. No? This was just a result of the accuracy of the Intelligence Division's analysis. And the thanks to the cooperation of those of you standing over there. What? Um, what are you guys? I mean, how the heck... What's going on exactly? It's you kids again. Hey look, it's Estelle and Joshua. Bracers, why are you here? Just for the record, I'll tell you, we infiltrated this place one step ahead of you again, and the entire hideout has been subdued. We chased the fleeing Sky Bandit leaders up this way, but I never would have guessed that the army's royal patrol ships would be waiting. Err, once again you've overstepped your bounds. With all due respect, General, it was because of them that our military strikes saw this level of success. Therefore, shouldn't we be in turn recognize their achievements? Do as you wish. I'll leave the rest up to your discretion. I'll return to the ship and see what information I can get on these Sky Bandits. Very well, General. That old man's as stubborn as ever. He's not a bad person. He just lacks a little flexibility. That aside, where are the other Sky Bandits and the hostages? Uh, the other lack... The other lackeys should be just lying all over the place, unconscious. And as for the hostages, we have them waiting in the same room they were imprisoned in. I see. You have done this nation a great service. Please leave the transportation of the hostages and cargo to us. Let's move, Captain Amalthea. Yes, Colonel. Uh, wait for me, Colonel. I really like to interview you kids, but this time the colonel is top priority. If you have, a, if we have another opportunity, I'd appreciate doing one with you too. See you later, Estelle, Joshua. My, my, my! You had your whole shining moment uprooted and stolen just like that. You got that right. Don't let it bother you, Estelle. The bracer's role has always been that of the unsung hero. So there's no real reason for us to stand out. That sounds about right, yeah? That always made a point of staying in the background, too. Really? I never noticed. Hmm. Uh, where is Dad? Hmm, I guess that's one problem we still gotta figure out. Where is Dad now? What is he doing? And why hasn't he tried to contact us? Um... It looks like there's nothing else left for us to do here. In the meantime, let's get back to Bose and report what happened with the incident. We'll try and figure out what to do about your dad after that. I really appreciate all your hard work. It appears that my impression about you was right. I knew that you would come through and bring closure to this incident. Yeah, but the army took off with all the glory. So I don't know if we could exactly say that we solved the case. No, that's not true. If you hadn't been there, I don't know if the army's raid would have been so successful. Backed into a corner as they were, the Sky Bandits may very well have harmed the hostages. Agreed. Everything worked out because you infiltrated their hideout and took them out ahead of time. You should be proud of what you've done. You really think so? <laughs> it's true that the hostages were freed and the Sky Bandits arrested. 
but it is very vexing to know that there are still some unanswered questions left. The men who appeared at the Valeria Lakeshore and the mystifying attitude of the leader of the Sky Bandits. I think we should consider that there's a lot behind this incident that we don't know about. Well, I guess we'll have to leave that part up to the Royal Army to figure out. With all the culprits being detained by them, there's really not much left that we can do. Anyway, we should just be glad that all the hostages came back safe. Thanks to the news about the arrest of the Sky Bandits, things are returning to normal here in town. As a token of my thanks, I've added a bit of a bonus to your reward. Really? Are you okay with that? <laughs> of course I am. I'd like to thank you too, Olivier. <laughs> I just hope that the work was worth the price of that Grand Chardonnay. Yes, in fact, there was change to spare. I hope that you all have a wonderful day, and if anything else comes up, I'll greatly appreciate your help again. Good day. Wow, nice that someone appreciates us. I'm sure that if the incident had gone on any longer, it would have caused much more confusion. It's probably only natural that the mayor is as happy as she is. Now I'm starting to feel all giddy inside. I don't think a bracer could be any more happy than knowing her work helped out a bunch of other people. Mm hmm, if you say so. But I think it's safe to say that you're no longer Greenhorns. Honestly, the two of you really surprised me this time. <laughs> you think so? At any rate, please accept your assessment and pay for clearing up the incident. Excellent. So we got 8,000 Mira and 10 Bracer points. So we are now a Junior Bracer 6th class. I think we were that before. Here's the pay the mayor was talking about. It's a very, very nice sum. And this is from me. A recommendation. Isn't this a recommendation from the Bose branch? Is it alright for you to give us this so soon? Of course, it would be downright rude of me not to recommend you after resolving such a big incident. Please accept it. Thank you, Lugrin. We'll work so hard that we don't bring any embarrassment on this recommendation. Ah, great work, you two. I'm sure your father would be extremely pleased if he heard the news. Sure. You're probably right. I wonder what on earth Cassius could be doing right now. Not contacting the guild is one thing, but not contacting his family is a completely different matter. Yeah, it's definitely not like him. After he suddenly disembarked from the airliner in Bows, I wonder where he could have gone. Excuse me, please. Aren't you the receptionist from the landing port? What's the matter? Uh, you see, we recovered some of the cargo stolen by the Sky Bandits, and among some of the pieces were a number of parcels addressed to the Bracer Guild, so I'm here to deliver one of them today. I appreciate you doing that. But wait a minute, why is there something addressed to this branch when the airliner left Bows to begin with? It's actually addressed to the Roland branch, but aren't Cassius Bright's family members here? What? That's us, but... Oh, perfect! We contacted the Roland branch and they said you had come here. Here you are, this is your parcel. Estelle was given both the letter and parcel. This letter, yep, it's in Dad's handwriting. It's addressed to Joshua and I at the Roland branch. It seems as if he just scribbled it out before he got off the airliner. I guess Dad did intend on getting in contact with us after all. Oh. Well, that's good to hear. So that parcel is from your dad, too? No, this one looks like it was sent to my dad by someone else. Huh? That's odd. Yeah, the sender hasn't written their name anywhere. Okay, my business here is done, so I'll be on my way. Oh, and uh, the other thing. And one other thing. Good job in helping arrest those sky bandits. Your bracers, you bracers sure do excellent work. And to think that a clue about your father would be mixed in with the airliner's cargo. Feel free to use the lounge upstairs to read his letter if you'd like. Thanks, Lugard. Ah, oh, well then, let's have a look at the contents, shall we? A little nosy. Do you mind telling me what you're still doing here? It's just plain and simple curiosity, that's all. Why did your father disembark the airliner prior to its departure? Were I forced to wait around for an answer, the question would stick in my mind so I'd never be able to sleep at night. And you're telling me this because... Oh, how heartless and cruel can you be to a companion who traveled alongside you? 
And just who is it you have to thank for being able to infiltrate the Sky Bandit's hideout? Hmm, I wonder. Alright, already. You can be a rather obnoxious fellow, I hope you know. I guess we don't have much of a choice. However, depending on the content, we may have to ask you to leave, okay? Huh, of course, I understand. Alright, let's see what he has to say. Estelle started by cutting the letter seal. Dear Estelle and Joshua, I'm sure you're probably about finished with the jobs I left for you, right? I'm also sure there are many things you'll have trouble with in the beginning, but take each one step at a time. I know you both can succeed. Anyway, it turns out that I've had a little trouble with my own work. And unfortunately it looks like I won't be able to make it home for quite some time. Please don't expect my return until after the Queen's birthday celebration. I'm really sorry that things turned out like they did, but you should be grown up enough not to be lonely while I'm away. So until I get back, I'll leave, up, I'll leave it up to the both of you to decide how you want to live. You're free to continue working in Roland, or you're free to pursue qualifying as a senior bracer. Your 16th year is a uh, vintage time in your life, so make sure not to waste it. Please, give my regards to give my regards to Sherazard and Ina. Cassius Bright. That seems to be the type of letter your father would write. It touches lightly on things, but is full of consideration towards the both of you. Yeah, it looks that way. Hmm, the Queen's birthday celebration, is it? From what I've heard, that's still a ways off. Yep, it's about two or three months away which means that this would be the perfect time to take a small trip. I really wonder where your father is and what he's up to. Forget about that and let's focus on what's in the package. With an unknown sender, there's bound to be something interesting inside. To be honest, I'm pretty curious myself, but we shouldn't be opening things addressed to my dad. Why don't you think of it this way? It was a package delivered by an unknown sender about the time your father disappeared. The two might be related, you know? That's true. Olivia, don't coax Estelle into doing something to satisfy your own curiosity. Actually though, Olivia does have a good point. Instead of leaving it until our dad comes home, it might be worth looking into. Okay, let's check it out. Estelle opened the parcel from the unknown sender. Hmm. Inside was a shiny black hemispherical device. Also enclosed was a single memo with the item. What's this supposed to be? It's an orbment, although I'm not sure what it's used for. Let's see what the memo says. I was able to secure the item the Aphrosid group was carrying, so please take care of it. Please ask Professor R to do an analysis of it when you find the opportunity, okay? That's it? Yep, it looks like the sender didn't write anything else. Shara, do you have any idea who K or Professor R might be? Um, I hate to say this, but I don't have a clue for either. Your father's pretty well known, so there's a possibility these people could be foreigners too. If this is the only thing we've got to go on, then honestly I'm about ready to throw in the towel. What the heck is this black orbman anyway? From the shape alone, it doesn't look like anything intended for general use. Although it feels a little similar to the battle orbman, to a battle orbman. Even so, it's still quite different. A normal battle orbman has slots in which to install quartz, but this one has none. Maybe this one is an artifact? An artifact? Precisely, an artifact is an orbman created by an ancient civilization. Artifacts are the models for all orbans produced today. They're still occasionally discovered in ruins, and for the most part, the Septian Church has custody over them. They're a type of antique, so to speak. But this one doesn't appear to be that old. It looks to me like it was made recently. Ah, you're right about that. However, this one almost seems like a black market item. Geez, now look what's happened because of my good-for-nothing dad. Doesn't he know that we're all worried about him? Estelle. Now he's getting some sketchy item from an unknown sender? What in the world has my dad gotten himself into this time? Estelle. You know, Estelle, I've been thinking. How about we continue our journey? Huh? Joshua. That's what Dad wrote in his letter, right? He said, or you're free to pursue qualifying as a senior bracer. Yeah, he did say that, but... We've already managed to get recommendations from Roland and Bowes, right? All that's left are Ruin, Zace, and Grantsall. Only those three. If we do jobs as we travel around to these other regions, we just might hear something about where Dad is or what he's doing. 
I think we're just worrying ourselves for nothing, considering Dad's skills. And there's also the possibility that he may have even traveled abroad. But I think getting off our own duffs is a lot better than just sitting around and waiting. And we just might be able to find this Professor R, too. Um, Joshua? What? You're a genius! Estelle, what are you talking about? This is like killing two birds with one stone, or maybe even ten. Sometimes I hate you for being so smart. So, should I consider that a yes? Oh, is it ever? Yes, yes, triple yes. Training to be your s to be a senior bracer as we travel around liberal. And exposing that what that no good middle-aged man has been doing in the process. Um, I think you're somehow missing the point. Haha, <laughs> it looks like she's back to her old self. Ah, I guess it's settled then. Bose International Port. Oh yeah, because we can take airliners now. Excellent. Well, take care. I'm going to head back to Roland now. That said, I'm still a little worried about you two. Are you sure you don't want me to come along? Give it a rest, Shara. We'll be fine. The whole reason we're going on this trip is to become senior bracers. It wouldn't be training anymore if you came with us. And if you didn't go back, the Roland branch would have a hard time managing things. Don't worry about us. We'll figure out a way to get things done. Well, if you insist. It's pretty rare for someone your age to be aiming for senior bracer status, so don't overdo it. And if you run into any trouble, contact the Roland branch, you got it? I'll come running no matter where you are. Sure, thanks, Shara. And the same goes for you, don't get yourself too liquored up. That's the only thing I'm worried about. <laughs> alright, alright, I'll watch the number of drinks. Ha, huh, never fear, dear children. You can count on me to protect fair Shara. And why are you headed to Roland? Not to mention... with Shara. That's because I've tasted all there is to taste here, and I thought it was about time I turned my attentions toward another region. As for Roland's cuisine, I've heard the produce is just to die for, so that's where I'm looking forward to next. That's pretty much it. He says he wants me to introduce him to a nice restaurant and some lovely vegetables, or some such nonsense. Since he's so persistent, I only agree to him coming along under the condition that he go drinking with me at the bar. Well, we'll never see him alive again. Olivia, I really hope you understand what you promised her. Huh, I could die for the likes of fine women and food. Part of me longs to be by your side as you continue your journey, Joshua. But after many agonizing hours of consideration, I've decided to accompany Fair Sherizard instead. I think I'll be better off with you a safe distance away from me. Well, have fun. But I'm warning you, don't you dare make any trouble in Roland, you hear me? And here's another piece of advice. When Cher is at the bar, watch out. That's when the gloves come off. And I'm seriously not joking when I say you should beware. How dare you speak about your mentor like that, Estelle. And besides, Ina's coming along too. Yeah, and she's even worse than you. The gloves come off, huh? Is that perchance what you and Estelle were talking about before? Yes, Estelle said it best, though. It was nice knowing you. Yes, it was a pleasure. Eh? The Royal Banner is departing shortly. All passengers, please board the airship now. Well, Ollie boy, it looks like it's time for us to leave. Come on now, we'd better hurry and get on. Share away, can, can't we talk this over? I'd really appreciate it if you had just a little more time to think things through. Surely you're not getting cold feet already. If you consider yourself a man, then quit acting like then quit acting like a ninny. Eek. See you later, Shara. Give our regards to everyone in Roland. Have a wonderful trip, you two. end of chapter one the disappearance of the lind so i guess um next time we'll continue on with i guess chapter two i believe there's four chapters four i may be wrong on that but anyway so next time we'll see what chapter two has in store for us so until then thanks for watching